Good morning and over here in Bangalore, it's an early start for us today. We're here at Sundaram Motors and AMG Centre Bangalore and today is the third day of Room 2022 and today is the day we're going to be collaborating with Sundaram Motors and AMG Bangalore. So we're going to be taking two cars. One is this thing over here, the glorious EQS 580 and the other is a AMG. It's an A35 AMG sedan that we're going to be taking. So. Let's head on over into the cars and head down to Hosur at Taneja Aerospace. Finally, we reached Taneja Aerospace for day three of Room 2022 and what an amazing spectacle it was. You had stalls and cars literally scattered all over the place. All of your favorite cars, bikes and even tuners were present at this amazing event. Inside the exhibition arena, there were some vehicles that really caught our eye. First off was Race Concepts and their insane Honda City ITC race car. Then you had a beautiful Sonoma Green RS5 and an R35 GTR. Since it was the supercar and superbike day, the place was littered with the fastest and fanciest superbikes everywhere. Everything from your bare basic Ninja 300s all the way up to MV Agustas and Ducatis. Go from the exhibition arena to the pit lane and this is where the real machinery is to be seen. In the pit lane, you will see a plethora of cars and all of your most prominent tuners doing the last minute changes and fine tuning to their machines. Some standout stalls from the pits definitely had to be Harmonix tuning with their Audi R8, M340i and TT, Tunotronics with their menacing RS6 Stage 3 and Code 6 because of the sheer number of cars just participating with them. But now, it was time for the action. The superbikes had lined up and it was time to let it rip. organizers had started to push cars into the mix and now was our time to take the EQS and A35 into the Park Fermi zone, which is basically the place where the participants wait for their runs and wait after their runs so that the FMSCI can make sure that the vehicle that they ran in the race was legal and safe. Before that, you have to go through a pre-race scrutiny checkpoint which confirms the category you are running in and some last minute checkups to make sure everything is safe. Once all of that has happened, we started to watch the car categories roll through. Now, drag racing technically isn't about two cars going down the drag strip at the same time. In fact, it is about who clocks the faster time. So even if you leave the line a split second behind the car beside you, you can still technically clock a faster time and win your category. So we buckled up and set off for our very own runs in the EQS and A35. Mind you, these were not competitive runs and only exhibition runs to show the performance of the latest and greatest from Mercedes-Benz. So we've just gotten both of the cars into the pits over here, the A35 and the EQS. We'll most likely get a couple of chances to take both out onto the uh, drag strip. So we're going to do just that. They're not going to be competitive runs, they're just going to be exhibition runs, so no timing, nothing like that. But I'm excited to drive the EQS, let's see how it performs. The electric has a complete different stuff. Wow. 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 Uh, 
Uh, Mandeep, uh, was I right? The right was the electric and the right was the electric. I eat my words. I eat my words. I never thought... So we just got done with the runs and this thing is an absolute monster. Just check this out. Oh my god! back from our runs club octane pulled up with their amazing group of cars and amongst them was probably my childhood dream car or the latest version of it the aventador svj so the club octane boys over here have pulled up and what a lineup and they have one of my dream cars over here in their parking location basically the aventador svj i mean i was my legs were quivering when this car came through and yeah, six and a half liter naturally aspirated V12, the last of its kind. Wow, what a beautiful car. This has totally made my day. I was not expecting it at all. So now you must be thinking, why am I standing beside a BMW X3 which looks so normal? Well, I think, if correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but this has to be the fastest diesel car over here in India. This is a X33. This is a BMW X330D. It's been tuned by eTuners Motorsports India. And this thing just ran 11.7 second quarter mile. A diesel family SUV. It's not even an M car or something special. It's a normal diesel SUV. Yes, it is equipped with X drive, all wheel drive, but what a timing from this thing. Overall, Vroom 2022 was an amazing event which was executed professionally, safely and most importantly was enjoyable for everyone. The cars and bikes were top notch and the racing was quality too. A big thank you to Sundaram Motors and AMG Bangalore for sending their EQS 580 and A35 AMG for this project. We were thoroughly impressed with their performance and how they really punch above their weight class. A big thank you to Vroom Motorsports too for giving us exclusive access and freedom to shoot this sort of content. Give all of our partners a big follow on Instagram and I will catch you in the next one.